So in the next couple of days, the truck's probably gonna look a lot different if everything goes right. So it's really cool being able to plug into your gas cap line, whatever you call it, to uh, power the laptop. That just rocks. So Jay just said it makes 48 pounds of ice. 38 pounds. 38 pounds, and how long? Of ice, every eight minutes. Every eight minutes, 38 pounds of ice. So he's putting bags in right now. So what gave you the idea of owning one of these? Wanted my own ice. You wanted your own ice. Yeah. You just wanted an it's ice maker? Super good ice. <laughs> I just wanted my own I ice maker. Bags and take it home and eat it. So how often do you have to put bags in? Um, when did you put them in? I put those in about maybe... Three weeks ago? It's been a week, a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. every week. week every week? Half. Check yeah. water filter monthly. Yeah, it's a whole art. So this is the ice bin. It holds 9,000 pounds of ice. And um, this is the ice. This thing here chomps it. Goes down in a conveyor. Goes up the conveyor. I'll show you in there. In so second. does this thing move fast or is it constantly moving slow? slow? So slow. it's moving right now, we just can't see it? No, it's not moving right now. Okay. No, it, when you get a bag of ice, I'll show you. Oh, when you get a ice bag of ice, it moves. Then it moves, yeah. And so it'll... look at all that ice up there. It was all the way back. So is this whole hopper full of ice or is it just on a belt? The whole hopper's full. All the way to the back. If you look back there, it goes all the so way So this back. whole thing is full of ice. It's like the bed of a dump truck almost. Yeah. 9,000 pounds of ice. 9,000 pounds of ice. Yep. And I, these are sensors right here. Yeah, sensor for the door, so when you open it, it shuts off. There's your camera system. Yeah, that's so I can see how much ice is in there. I guess you got a special app. Yeah, I got an app. Amcrest. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's an Amcrest through, camera. Uh, through the, uh, the, the, the network. The, yeah. And this is your filtration. Yeah, this is a dechlorinator sediment. Sediment um, chlorinate. This is a. Uh, 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 can't think of the name of it. Um, Close enough. Yep. So, what's the temperature in here? 40 right now. 40? Yeah. So, what is it normally? If we open the door, is it. It's about 40. 40? Yeah. You can turn it down. This is an AC unit for it. This is the place to be right here. It feels good in here, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's cold. Woo! That's awesome. Just putting bags in there. Danger. Somebody getting water right now. Is that the sound we're hearing? Yeah, you can see it right here. Somebody's getting water? You're right. Yep. Cool. Got some air solenoids there, it looks like. Yeah, so what happens is this, the ice comes up here, then it goes in there, whatever one you want. If you want it in bulk, or you want it in bag, so the bag will go right here, it'll dump. This thing here will dump. Then it, that thing blows open, it blows, and then it dumps into the bag, and then it dumps out. It's pretty awesome to watch it. Yeah. I'll turn it on and I'll let you see it. All right, here we go. Wow. So just think about who designed this. You know, this is all stuff that you just got to do one off and eventually of America, they you test and tune and then finally you get it right. There's all kinds of stuff. They got weights on the back of these. They got all kinds of things. Yeah, this is really awesome. So this compressor here is what, what runs, runs these little air solenoids. Yep. 
and there's your valve assembly and that does all the this is where the air switch is basically yep. this is the piston that shoots up whenever air comes through that block and this is the air source a little 2.6 s cubic feet per minute little pancake compressor there nothing fancy there's the uh show you a little bit here's some of the uh the control all right so now that the conveyor belt's moving yeah that's what we're hearing yep so we move forward a little bit is what happened and it, no that was ice dumping that was ice dumping, dumping. so it just making the ice making the okay ice. and this is your water meter yeah water meter from the city uh no this isn't from the city this is for me uh this tells me how well, when I need to change the uh, the UV bulbs and the filters. Oh, so uh, it's got the UV gallons. filtration, so it, yep. it purifies, gets any of the funk out of the... So this is the cleanest ice you can imagine, really, yep. with tap, coming from tap water. It is. It really cleans up good. So this, compared to distilled water, it's pretty close. Um, yeah. I mean, if you had a RO water, it's not an RO system, but RO water is probably the closest you can get. Awesome. Pretty close. We do a water test every two months. Send it in with the uh, go to a, a round rock and have it tested. So everything's really uh, and it's it's city water, so right, it's clean already. It's clean already, but we we uh, we really clean it. So here's all your relays. Yep, all the relays, all the uh, um, communications, everything. There's a Ethernet in here. There's yep. a 10 base T Ethernet network. There's your serial adapter to Ethernet. Got more relays. Got more relays. Got uh, some antenna action here. So that goes up to this little antenna right here. There's your little radio box, probably 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know what that is. What? Uh, it looks a like a heater. Little heater heater so it uh, will uh, heat up the box so there's no moisture in there here's your little uh, Amcrest switch here so this is the video network I guess they're using that for the cameras these are bill acceptors that's Change. the bill acceptors for the money yep and that's a little display right there I think it's the little touch screen or whatever yep and that's the uh, amount whatever that means the money there's your little distribution block right here that's nice they got some breaker action those are very uh, sensitive breakers like they put in windmills those are not your average breakers so this is what the outside looks like there's the uh, air conditioning system that keeps it cool compressors and it's on this big platform here. They have to do a lot of flat work, foundation. Really nice setup. So yeah, if you need some ice in Elgin, this is the place to be. This is the ultra clean ice place to get it. Right here, if you're in Elgin, right here by Jay's Auto, the laundromat. It's right there off of Main Street. You can't miss it. You can see it from that intersection. It's even got some nice little open lights. Ice coming out. Got some ice coming out. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That is nice. So that's a 20 pounder? That's 20 pounder. And then the 10 ends up down in here around yep. here somewhere. You can just take it and tear it and pull it tight. So what is something like this set you back? Um they're about a couple hundred thousand. About a couple hundred thousand bucks? Yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing for a high roller like you, Jay. Oh, okay. <laughs> for the bank, maybe. Yeah, for the bank. This is probably the nicest uh, ice dispenser I've ever seen. Clean, try to make it nice. And you put these here to protect people so they don't Back into it. run into it? Yeah. That's smart. Where'd you get these? Uh, 
Uh, they came from the railroad here. The railroad? Yeah, when I bought the property. This is what the old uh, railroad signals were on. Okay, so this is what the old railroad signals were. I guess they were in the ground. They were way back there, yeah. And they dug them up. Yep. So yeah, he got these from the railroad. And it's so people can't back into it. That's pretty cool. All right, this is the time of the video where I read the comments and butcher everybody's chat names. All right, so gas pump repair service says, is it really a gas cap now? Yeah, uh, what, are, what are we gonna call it now that I'm not putting gas in there? What kind of cap is that? Now that we have AC 120 volts coming out of our gas cap, so we gotta figure out what to call it. All right, so Katie says, audio blink, wow. I guess you're talking about the speaker maybe, how I have it popping. The speaker is part of the circuit as well. It's also a four ohm resistor in the circuit. So that's uh, it plays a part in the circuit as well. So Rob and Jane, uh, Van, Can Van, Rob and Jan, Can Van. Yeah, I just subbed y'all's channel. I gotta check out more of your videos. So they say, uh, Wow, Fry TV now, the, this electronic hacks are really, uh, are incredible, so cool. Appreciate the kind words and the support there. And yeah, you got a cool channel. I, was, I watched a couple videos the other day. I just found your channel. I can't remember if I found it through um, Lincoln Kane or Mosh or who I was watching, but you were in somebody's chat and I subbed you up. All right, so Cool Roy says, did you ever work at Radio Shack? Kinda. Um, I had a couple of good friends that worked at Radio Shack, and I hung out in Radio Shacks like, <laughs> like people hung out in hobby shops a lot, and I did a lot of that myself too. But yeah, I spent a lot of my life in Radio Shacks buying stuff and friends working there and managers, so uh, I might as well have worked at Radio Shack. So Ride Along Gang, big shout out to Ride Along Gang. I was uh, just riding along with him hanging out in his chat room earlier and uh, he was saying he really liked this video here so he left a comment and uh, he says you're an electrical genius Fry thank you for the kind words and then somebody left a reply and says uh, Raven King he really is okay cool alright so as you can see today was a little bit different day I um, went and visited we had a little tour of the ice house and did some other little things uh, but we're gonna get right back on the 65 uh, in a couple more days. I got I got some other stuff I'm gonna be doing, and I had a good visit with the neighbors today. That uh, they're moving, they're building a new house, so I had a good visit with them today. So yeah, again, big shout out to uh, Ride Along Gang, and uh, also We the People, and uh, he's also a trucker. And GWT333, those three truckers. Uh, also help support this channel and I support them as well so I'll do my best the links to their channels should be in the description um, of my um, video but if not I will definitely start putting that in there and yeah I've been having fun with the 65 for sure um, doing all the mods and I got a lot of more fun stuff coming so stay tuned and uh, you'll see there's going to be a lot of cool, weird electronic hacks and um, interesting things that I'm um, getting the truck ready for the car show. I'm doing my best to make it a head turner uh, so people just look at it and go, uh, wow, what was that guy? <laughs> What's that guy thinking sometimes? And that's what I want to do is I want, I want to get people thinking and um, I'm having fun with the truck, that's for sure. So love you all. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And if you could share it on your social media, that would really be awesome. These videos get them more exposure. That will motivate me to keep doing dailies because it is a lot of work to have this camera strapped to my chest and constantly ready to hit record. And the editing takes time, the uploading, the making the thumbnails and all that stuff it takes a, a lot of time out of the day. So. I appreciate all the, the uh, kind words and the support, and and I hope um, the channel keeps growing like it is. We'll do this again tomorrow. Love you all.